Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. These days I'm getting two questions very frequently. The first one is why am I not getting Power BI calls? And the other question I'm getting is, is Power BI going to end? These two questions they are different but answers to these two questions are same. I already talked about getting more calls, getting more Power BI calls in another video uh, I, but I also want to talk about it even today because um, the two questions are somewhat related and I thought I can add some more points here. So to answer the first question, why are you not getting Power BI calls? To answer that one, when you upload your resume into sites like dice.com or nokri.com, there'll be an algorithm which looks for the search terms that the requirement has and it tries to match those terms with your resume. So you need to make sure you include all the bus terms in your resume. When I mean by bus terms, I mean uh, the, the technical terms or the technologies that the requirement has. For suppose, let's say you have experience with SQL. That means you can work as a SQL Server developer. You can write the SQL queries in SQL Server. You can also work as Oracle developer, Oracle database developer because SQL is the language used in Oracle too. So what I'm saying is if you, if you have experience with one language and if you think some other languages are also related you can also include those languages in your resume that increases the chances of getting calls so if you know sql server power bi needs sql server right most of the power bi resumes will have sql server in it as well right so if you include sql server you can also include oracle you can also include bigquery bigquery is the latest buzzword these days because most of the companies are going to cloud and bigquery is one of the uh, language they are using so if you know how to write sql you will also know how to write the query in bigquery because BigQuery also uses SQL. So if you're including SQL in your resume, uh, make sure you include SQL Server, Oracle, BigQuery as well. I understand there'll be a little syntax difference here and there, but there's a little learning curve. Just one or two days you can catch up. The same with Power BI. If you know Power BI, it's a reporting tool, right? So most of the reporting tools, they are same. Major part of it will be same. There'll be just some differences here and there. If you know Power BI, you can uh, learn Tableau also. You can learn the basics of Tableau and you can include Tableau also in your in your resume. It doesn't harm you. It, it just improves the calls that you get. It's not that I'm asking you to lie because the technologies are similar. You can, I'm just trying to say you can make use of these. So if you know Power BI, you can include Tableau also. And I truly understand that Tableau is not exactly like Power BI. There will be some differences, but the learning curve is very low. Maybe in one or two days, you can easily catch up. So uh, if you know Power BI, include Tableau as well and include SSRS also. If you know how to create SSRS reports, you will also know how to create Power BI paginated reports right so include all these terms include power bi desktop include power bi reports include power bi dashboards power bi paginated reports tableau ssrs all of them come under the same umbrella so if you know power bi or tableau you, you can also include google cloud studio which is used which is used in google platform to create reports there is definitely some learning curve for all these technologies just that you need to spend one or two extra days that's all and when you have all of these technologies covered when you have all of them included in your resume you will have high chances of getting calls whether it's power bi calls or database calls or whatever going to the next question that is is power bi going to end if you are actually starting your career if you are at the beginning of your career i would say i would definitely recommend you to learn new technologies because when you are into it it's always learning i know it doesn't sound that good to hear that but that is what it is life is all about learning right you always need to learn new technologies if you want to if you want to grow in your career so relating this question to the previous question you can learn bigquery because it's similar to sql if it's similar to writing sql you can learn google cloud studio because it is similar to power bi or it is similar to tableau so 
learning new technologies will not only grow your career you will have more opportunities because you know multiple technologies it's not that power bi is going to end in another 10 years maybe people are still using ssrs which is very old technology it's been at least 10 15 years right that ssrs came so Power BI is still new compared to SSRS. People are still using SSRS. So don't worry, Power BI is not going to end in in near future. But if you still have 20 years, 30 years of your career, I would definitely say learn new technologies. Even if you think your career is not like 15, 20 years long, it it is worth to learn new technologies. I would say it's always good to learn new technologies. Not only because uh, you want to grow your career, but also you'll have more opportunities. You'll have, you can apply for multiple requirements. That's what I think it is. So if you, if you are worried that Power BI is going to end, it's not. Please don't worry. It's not going to happen in next 10 years at least. Uh, but make sure you learn new technologies that will help you uh, grow your career and also you'll and you'll also get more opportunities i think this clarification helped at least some of you and uh, please take it seriously and try to learn new technologies like uh, which are related to cloud especially azure aws google cloud all these clouds because the future is cloud so that's all for today thank you first